Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Long time no chat. Hopefully uh, you're up for a little bit of a POV vlog. Wow, this garage is a freaking mess. We're gonna need to check that out someday. Not a big deal. That's the ice fishing tent. Um, what are we doing today? What are we doing today? Today we're doing something that I never thought myself I'd be doing. I thought I was gonna be enlisting my buddy to do it. But he said, Adam, you need to learn. This is an easy job. Do it your freaking self, figure it out. Once you do, you're gonna be so freaking happy you did and you're probably gonna be more interested in doing it. Guys, today we're gonna be working on Dirty Bird. I know, I know, I know, Adam, it's like the end of the season. It's, you can't really drive it anymore and stuff. Well, that is true. But you know what else is true is I just wanna do this. Also, we got these freaking wasps in here and is that a wasp is that a dirt dauber let's find out oh it's a dirt dauber he probably could have lived crack this garage bay door open we're gonna need it open the whole time we're working because we're gonna need tools for db so uh another thing i did was i went around and i checked all the tires i thought they'd be flat they're holding like 25 to 32 PSI. They're actually holding air. They lost air over the winter, but so did my truck. Um, my back tire is experiencing a problem. It was at 30, actually it was at 27 PSI the other day. I don't know why. But anyway, we're gonna have to go ahead and I did some de-weeding here because Jesus Murphy, these golden rods were just horrible. Uh, did I lose that unlock? Wow, way to go, Adam. Just leave your freaking car door unlocked. Am I gonna hit the wall? Oh, you're damn skippy, I will. Ah, whatever, it's trim glad. I wonder if this thing actually has battery life left in it. Nope. Oh, it does. Barely enough to turn the chimer on, but it's guarantee she wouldn't start. Anyway, guys, sorry for the uh, lack of videos. I just didn't know what to, oh, jeez. All right, GG. Um, I did really didn't know what else to do for, for videos. Um, when I make the fishing videos, nobody watches them. So I'm like, why make them? Why waste my time editing and all that? when like a hundred people will bother to watch them. Okay, well that didn't sound too awesome, probably. What we're gonna be working on today is one of the problems I have with this car is when you drive it, you get the burning oil smell. Talked to my buddy about it and he's like, oh, that's simple. He's like, it's your valve cover gaskets. Basically, what we're gonna be doing today is pulling these off. I gotta get a freaking proper oil cap for that. We're gonna be pulling these things off and replacing the valve covers. Uh, the valve cover gaskets. Why do I have just like random plugs here that aren't attached to anything? What the heck are those for? So these are center bolt. Uh, and uh, I did research and anything after 1987, GM center bolted them. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what we're gonna do is uh, I went to Canadian Tire because I looked online and they had these uh, Felpro. I asked on Facebook about these and everybody said, oh, get the Felpro gaskets, they're the best. So I bought these ones here which are the ones for the center. They're the rubber ones. That's what everybody told me to get. So I listened to the pros. Any stickers? Can I put a sticker on my car? I'm one of those guys on the internet who puts stickers on their cars. Nope, okay. So this is my first attempt at doing anything myself on Dirty Bird without hiring somebody or getting a friend over who's mechanically inclined to do it. A lot of you out there are probably saying, Adam, this is a pretty amateur job. And this is the reason why my buddy told me, do it yourself, it's an amateur job. Learn by doing, this is the first engine thing I've ever done to a car. I found my 3H drive. This is the first engine thing I've ever done to a car. And that's why he told me, do it yourself, go figure things out. And then as you go, you'll progress, you'll learn. I wonder, if this, what is this? 3.8, so I wonder if 3.8 is good enough. Probably, probably good enough. It's done, you know, do it yourself, figure it out. And as you get more and more comfortable working on your engine, you're gonna get more and more comfortable working on your engine. A lot of you are saying, Adam, Sell the, sell the Trans Am, why keep it? You're not using it, you sh just let it go, let it go. But if I wanna learn mechanics, what a better platform to start on than something simple like this, right? Like you look at, it has a computer on board, it's got the 8063, I've already chip programmed it, it gets amazing fuel mileage because of that. Unlike this thing, that's more computer than engine, this thing here is more engine than computer. Computer fails, this thing becomes a carburetor. <laughs> like, it's probably the best platform for somebody like me who's amateur hour to physically learn how to mechanic. Wow, look at that spider web. I don't know if that's coming through or not, but that is insane. 
Can you tell I haven't made lures in a while or been out here or done anything? Sweet Jesus, Murphy. So yeah, one of the things I was thinking about doing was going to the Wreckers and buying a set of GM stock valve covers. But then my buddy told me these are actually really expensive Miss um, Edelbrock valve covers and I'd be stupid to let them go. How long are these bolts anyway? Okay, those washers are not actually, why is there a dirt dauber on my car? Now I know they eat spiders. They're not that big of a threat, but holy crap. Okay, that's a long bolt. All right, and she's pretty oily too, but that's probably supposed to be like that. I was expecting, I don't know what to expect. The guy I watched, his wasn't center bolt. It was, he had four bolts on the side. He was fixing a square body GM. Uh, I don't know what year it was. I never, he never mentioned or I didn't pay attention. One of those two, right? He ended up replacing his bolts because his bolts were crusty, but these don't look that bad. So I'm just gonna reuse them. If I'm not supposed to reuse them, I'm sure somebody out there will chime in. Oh man, are you serious? You're gonna be in the way, whatever the hell you are. That's a break, uh, break thing. I'm hoping you guys are getting the angle. I uh, use my cell phone as a viewfinder prior to doing this. Now, is this just gonna lift off or? Nope, I might have to remove that. Just get enough of this shit out. <sighs> what I thought was gonna be an easy job just became something a little bit more complicated. Yeah, I don't wanna have to remove the alternator just to uh, remove that. She's jammed up on this side here. What kind of gaskets on there anyway? Oh, none. Well, that's beautiful. He literally just put the cap. No wonder why it's leaking oil. Unless the gasket's so destroyed that it's... That's flexible. That's solid. Is that leaking? No. I need to remove this. That's a given. At least enough to be able to get that off. So, see if a half inch gets on it. You guys are gonna laugh, but I really don't want to have to take that off because I'm worried that if I do and I don't put it back on right, I won't have brakes. Holy shit. That's freaking on there, good. There we go. Hopefully that takes that out of the picture and it does. Perfect. So we can just kind of move that over and get this thing sort of, yeah, there is zero gasket on this. I don't really want to have to remove the alternator, do I? This is ridiculous. Oh, there we go. All right, well, there's probably not supposed to be a chunk of shit in there. Do I need to replace whatever's in there or is that cool? That's probably cool. I wonder if I can clean that out. I don't have any, any brake cleaner or anything or degreaser. I do want to clean these valve covers off though. You know what? That's, that's insane though, look. Like, unless this is the gasket here, which I don't think it is, is it? Yep, that's the gasket. Like they definitely blew out here, but it looks like this is just, I don't know. Let me put these on these sides over here before I knock them over and they hit the ground and then teleport to another dimension. You know how that works. I know a lot of you guys are car guys out there. And a lot of you already said, if you have any questions, just make a video and ask and you guys will tell me. You know, I got a lot of car friends on Facebook too. A lot of guys in North Bay, a lot of guys in, from YouTube. Yeah, a lot of guys from YouTube too. So I know if I ever get stuck, just message somebody until I learn myself. It's leaving residue behind, I should probably clear that. I'm gonna go in the house and grab some SOS pads. Should grab some water too. Huh, I could put it in a container and bring it out. It's a beauty day to play mechanic, right? That's what I think, maybe, I don't know. Personally, I just like some black center bolt friggin' valve covers, but Junkyard doesn't have any in stock. They're all side bolt. And the ones they do have in stock are not for my car. They're for like a Dodge or a Ford or... We'll just clean it up as good as we can. Doesn't have to look pretty. We're not entering any car shows. We're just driving it. 
So that's, I should probably scrape that glue. I, I need to go to Canadian Tire and get glue. I need to clean my hands and go to Canadian Tire. So, see, I didn't realize we're gonna need gasket glue. That's why you call a mechanic if you're not a mechanic. And you wanna DIY on your own car. You call a mechanic and you say, hey, I'm doing this. And then they instruct you because they're smart. And then things happen. I shouldn't leave that hood open. But I also don't want to latch it shut. Ah, crap. I just did this to my hands. Clean all the grease off and uh, I'll turn this thing back on. We'll just give ourselves a hand washing out here with the hose. All I'm going to do is take you out of there. And just put the hood down like that. You know what? Correction. Let's get that battery out of there. Post on this side was so damn loose. There we go. There we go. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Plug it in, let the fun begin. All right, I'm not gonna bring the camera. I'm gonna go to Canadian Tire, get that glue, and uh, I'll be back with you guys in a moment. All right, guys, I just got back from Canadian Tire as well as for, uh, Food Basics. Need to do some groceries. Forgot tomorrow's a holiday and I uh, won't be able to do any groceries tomorrow. So anyway, this is the stuff I bought. It's Permatex Black Silicone Automotive Grade RTV Sealant. My buddy said it should be fine. You can just put a dab in the corners. It can go up to 230, like 450 degrees Fahrenheit. My engine doesn't even hit that temperature, so we should be okay. Uh, my buddy just said, he's like, put a dab in each corner. And that's literally, when I showed him the under, he's like, that's literally what was in there before. His RTV sealant. That's what they use to put those gaskets in. So, literally, I'm putting the same crap in there to do the same crap that the previous owner did. Adam, quit throwing garbage on the ground. You got a perfectly good garbage can right there. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. Let's smash that in there. And hopefully that holds, which it didn't. Smash that in there. Okay, so now I'm seeing what Daddy Tech was talking about with these friggin' valve cover gaskets being a pain in the cock to put on. Do I have those little clamps anywhere? Shouldn't have to do this, but we're gonna have to do this. Modern problems require modern solutions. Probably gonna have to let that cure for however long it takes, who knows. Now my hands are covered in silicone, black silicone, so I guess when that dries, I know it's done. No, I'm kidding, I'm taking that shit off right now. Then I guess we can reinstall that valve cover and do the other side. All right, I'm gonna open up the, uh, the guy. And while we're waiting for that one to cure, might as well take the other one off. I found an oil cap for this guy, by the way. It's on Amazon, I can't find it locally. Tried to source it locally, can't find it. Found it on Amazon, it's like 20 bucks. Whatever, we'll buy it. So that's in the way, that's, those wires are in the way. This shit is, I can work around that. This side might be a little easier then. It's just spark plug wires. Get that thing out of the way. Let's go ahead and take this thing off. All right, let's see if we can pull this one. Or if shit's in the way. This big dumb line here is in the way. All these wires, these split looms. I should get my vacuum over here and suck all that shit up.
there and I'm not too worried about knocking a bunch of shit into the head so like seriously engineers this is the 1980s this car was supposed to be simple why'd you make it too difficult problem. There we go. That was a pain in the dick. Oh, balls. I hope it doesn't start raining. Because I'd really like to get this project done today. I'm going to have to hold it off to the next sunny day. Hope that is sticking. Let's see what happens when we remove a clamp. That looks pretty promising. What do you say we reattach this one here before we deal with that one there? Let's do it. Ah, shit. Which way did it go? Oh, yeah. Like this. Because it has to have the PCV valve. PVC valve? PCV valve? Whatever. It goes on this side. So, this goes in like that. But I gotta go in. Uh, how do I do this? Shit. And it let go. Son of a bitch. Should have bought a bunch of these clamps from the dollar store. Hey, where do you think you're going, bud? Kind of hoping to get the battery going and take it for a little jaunt today, but... And tomorrow it's supposed to rain. See how that plays out. I know Dad said he wanted to come over and do that door, but... It's gonna rain, it's gonna rain. There's not much we can do about that. Another day, another weekend, another project. All right, well... I was to put the cap on this piss. I think what I'm gonna do is, I guess, your golden rod. I have a delicious drink of soap and water. Looks like this video is gonna be a multi-day video. So I'm just gonna do myself a solid. Close oh, this. Man. Just like that. Grab this thing, put it away. We'll have to let these things sit until they cure. All right. Okay, so it's totally not another day. It's still the same day. I read the container of that silicone afterwards and it says that it takes about an hour for it to cure. Or not cure, but to set. And judging by the way this feels, I'm going to assume it's set. Yeah, that's friggin' in there, right? Oh yeah, that feels rubbery. So theoretically, this should hold on for dear life. The only problem I'm going to have is trying to put these damn things back in because they were a bitch to take out. So we'll see. It was supposed to rain today too. Looks like we dodged that bullet. I didn't want to leave these things uncovered um, overnight for obvious reasons. Well, maybe they're not that obvious, but they were to me. Um, this is the this side and it goes on like this now here's the problem i'm gonna have with this one is the stupid split loom i don't know how the hell i'm gonna navigate this i don't know if i can remove it either because i don't know where it goes to it literally goes down there and it goes across i need a way to pull it away from everything but it's hitting the egr valve I could disconnect these plug wires i guess Give me some room. I say that, but they don't come off. <sighs> Holy shit. <sighs> what the hell? Does this one come off? <clears throat> Is there anything magical to do this? No, it's just a pull. So you're number two. Should be numbering these. Well, they're actually they look like they look like when they're installed they were stretched to fit. So oh man, I shouldn't have had Brussels sprouts for supper. That was not smart of me. That underneath there. See there's so much shit in the back here that's in the way. Get the valve covers back on. That's stupid. How did I get these off? Now what the hell's going on with these? Gotta line up right between the rockers. If they don't, it ain't gonna get on there. I don't know, I'm taking this GoPro off. 
guys i'll figure it out i'll be back all right guys sorry for ditching pov mode but this thing is getting hot on my head and i was getting a little bit pissed off so i was like you know what i i need to focus on this we got this one on so that's the one i thought was gonna give me the hardest trouble <laughs> turns out i don't know how i'm talking about because the other one's gonna give me the hardest trouble anyway i'm just gonna tie my oil cap back on here because that's literally what i do because i don't have the right oil cap like i said found one on amazon gonna order it up anyway i'm gonna do this other one over here all right guys hope i'm not touching a microphone i don't know where the hell they are on this camera but um got this one on had to do a little bit of disassembly because uh the bar that connects down here that goes to the alternator point right here it was blocking the ability for the friggin' valve cover to go back on but she's back on so now what i need to do is rerun this vacuum hose oh balls okay i gotta rerun this vacuum hose you know what i might not even care i might just friggin' fire it in there and say we're good because well whatever there we go rerun that vacuum hose there and then i just need to install the bar from there to back to there put the bolts in something just fell and then uh set up the pcv and reattached i took the friggin belt off the pulley because i thought i was gonna have to take off the alternator but it turns out i didn't have to so dodge the bullet on that one boys you got evap hooked back up pcv hooked back up brake booster hooked back i think that's the brake booster it's hooked back up valve covers are tightened down hand tight didn't torque them don't know what the specs are really don't care um got the breather thing on i got to get the proper one for that back of there the um this breather filter thing that is not proper i got to get the one that goes into the air cleaner I'll find it one day. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I think, install the battery, put the lid back on, fire it up and see if it explodes. Cool. All right guys, it's an engine again. So let's go ahead. Everything looks like it's in order. Everything's good to go. Battery's in, she's filthy. The name Dirty Bird wouldn't stick if it wasn't dirty. One day I'll clean it. Not today though. I'm gonna go get my wallet. We'll take it for a quick rip around the block. Well, before we take it for a rip, we gotta put some air in the tires because we got like 25 PSI all around. But we'll fire it up anyway and see if the battery at least has a charge. Well, enough of a charge to get the motor running. Oh, fire in the hole. been a while since I've been in this thing. Oh yeah. Dirty bird. Brakes might be a little bit seized, but whatever. Let's make sure the brakes work. I wish I would have brought sunglasses. You know what? She's not wandering like she used to. Maybe it was just the tires. Brakes feel a little weird, but you would feel a little weird too if you haven't been driven in a while. Wow, don't take that the wrong way. 
Dirty Bird lives. And that head gasket problem or valve cover gasket problem? Perfect. I forgot how much fun this car is to drive. Oh, I think the old girl could use a bath though, that's a given. If they're doing cars and coffees, I think I would have to uh, maybe show up in the old girl. Next up is going to be something more down my alley. I got to fix the back speakers in this damn car. I haven't had back speakers in this car since forever. Literally all I ever had was like the front shitty speakers and the subwoofers back in the day, but they were pulled out. Do you guys remember the subs? Did I ever? I can't remember. But I used to have a 12 inch sound stream in this thing and I, um, a 2500 watt amp and she would just pound. But that's good. We know that this thing works. She could probably benefit from some fresh gas because she hasn't had any since, well, 2019. Sweet. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I need to replace my signal light. Still haven't done that. But she lives. She freaking lives, boys. Yeah, these are the speakers that I wanted to put in. Ignore the cigarette case that's stuck to it. They're clarions. There's a bunch of shit stuck to it. There's clarions. Um, 130 watt, way more than I need. Uh, I think they're like 40 watts nominal. Uh, that deck will put out 40 watts peak, 20 watts nominal. And I tried to install them, but they uh, they don't work. Like there's something going on. For some reason, the rear line on the deck isn't connected to the rear speaker wires or some shit. So things aren't jiving and I don't know why. Now this car was different. It came with a, uh, a weird setup. Uh, this button right here, it's a subwoofer. You see that speaker right there on the bottom? That's a subwoofer. There's one on each side. And then you could turn this up to crank the bass. And it actually sounded pretty good for what it was. I, I can't deny it. It actually sounded pretty damn nice uh for a tape deck system from the 1980s uh this was from my old amp that was supposed to go to rex when he got my i gave him the amp because i wasn't going to use it and he wanted it so i was like whatever just take it i don't care i think we traded i think i traded him something for it i can't remember whatever it happened way back in the day yeah man the old girl works should do something about this headliner that'll be a next year's project i think if we just take this plastic off that plastic off Maybe the plastic in the back. I can't see anywhere else. That's about it. And then this whole thing should come down. I'd like to get a new cover for this, but whatever. Sweetness. These don't work anymore, eh? No. Oh wait, does the car have to be on for them to work? lights turn on wow they sound really good <laughs> all right sweet i should probably uh silicone lube the living shit out of that eh or something get some friggin grease in there oh well sounds good when you open and close it sounds like a classic there you go boys Valve covered gaskets, complete engines back together, and she runs and she drives and she purrs like a freaking meow face. Super sweet. Not gonna lie, there was times there where I almost reached out to my friends on the internet or on my contact list saying, hey, having a bitch of a time putting these valve covers back on, can you give me a tip or give me a hand? But then I remembered something that my buddy with the Mustang there, I met, yeah, last, I think it was the last video that I made was the video with his Mustang. And he got talking to me about it. Like he's not a mechanic. He drives truck, like transport. Um, and he, like he built his entire Mustang up. He rebuilt the engine, rebuilt, installed that supercharger, did all the work himself, literally by doing the research and then just jumping in. And he told me at Tim Hortons the one night, you're gonna go to do a job the part might come off, but when putting it back on might be a pain in the ass. Don't be afraid to remove something to put the part back on, because sometimes you have to do that. And that clicked in my head and I was like, well shit, you know what? I gotta remove the alternator. No, I didn't have to remove the alternator. I just had to remove this one stupid bar that was in the way so I can maneuver the valve cover in and get it in there. Once I did that, everything made sense, everything worked and we're back in the game. The other side, it was literally 
the um, the split loom wire, that great big thick garden hose like split loom. It was in the way the whole damn time. All I had to do was lift it, put the lip of the valve cover underneath and boom, she just dropped right on top and it was in place. And I was like, well, there we go. So done and done. I do have an exhaust leak uh, at the header that I know. And it is because of the exhaust, the uh, header gasket. I'm not too worried about that. Who cares? It, just, it makes a little sound every once in a while, but whatever, who cares? Um, tires, I definitely need to replace them at some point in time. They are pretty old. They still got tread though, but um, and I do want to get the front end inspected by an actual mechanic because, and the brakes as well, inspected by an actual mechanic. I don't want to dick around with safety equipment like that because if I do something to the brakes and the car doesn't stop and a kid runs out in front of my car and I slam on the brakes and nothing happens and I railroad that kid, that's all on me. That's all on me because I did it to my car. I screwed up. I skipped a step. I messed up and that kid's death or injury is all on me. I don't want that. So I'm gonna have the pros look over the safety equipment. Now it is September, so kind of be losing Trans Am season, but at least that oil smell is gone. And that's one thing that I can scratch off the list. And hopefully next year, things are better in the job front. Like I said, we're still working on that. And we can afford to have a little bit more freaking fun. Cause like I mentioned in this video, something, uh, maybe I didn't mention, I don't know, but something I really wanted to do was LS swap it. But I'm okay with the LO3 for now. Like I'm not gonna race and if I do race, who cares? The kind of racing they do around here guys is bracket racing. You could bring a friggin' Ford Tempo or running on two cylinders there. And as long as you can make it to the end of the track and be consistent, you could potentially win. So. If I wanted to race the Trans Am, I theoretically could go to the track and race it, not in the conditions it's in now. But um, I, like I said, I'd like to get it looked over and just make sure the whole front end's copacetic and you know, any parts needed, put them in and get that ball rolling. But that right now is not on the table for money spending, unfortunately. Uh, pretty much everything's on hiatus for the time being because I have other things that I need to spend my money on. So anyway, on that note, people, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of mechanic work on Dirty Bird. I know it was a simple, 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 simple thing that probably would have taken any one of you mechanics out there about an hour, but it took this dumbass the whole day. But you know what? I think that's why you guys tune in. Watch me blumber around and try and figure things out on my own. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, whatever. You tune in anyway, so I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, guys, remember, fish, lift, cycle, never stop. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.